Hello friends, very warm welcome to Coding Techniques again. Today I am going to teach you something very interesting and in no time. So basically you are going to learn how to work with the dark mode and light mode into our Ionic application. So with the click of a button, it will turn into the dark mode. And with the click of another button, it's going to turn into the light mode. And we are going to use the same button that's going to be our toggle button. So let's get started with today's video. Now here I have taken the example of our previous video in which we have already built up the screen orientation one. So the same example I am taking here if you haven't seen the video the link is out there in the description and also on the i button you can simply click on that and you will get redirected to this particular video where you will find this or screen orientation design and you can just download it okay. Now getting back to our current application i'll just change the name of the title to be dark mode and we have already worked it with ios and android in the previous video so i'm just using the same stuff here all right now i am going to use a toggle button here and for toggle button well in the iron buttons and what am i going to do i'm going to have a toggle button here let me just pass it within this in this particular manner this is my toggle button don't worry, I'm getting the error for now. I just need to get rid of it in my home page. And let me minimize all this. Let me define another property here called dark mode. And I'll set it to false. It's a Boolean value which I'm going to work with. Then I need to have a simple toggle function which I'm going to just pass it here. So if you don't want to work with this particular design, still you can go ahead and work with this dark mode. There is nothing to do with the design one. I just showed it like to have a proper design also along with the dark mode so that we can understand it pretty easily how exactly it is working all right that's the only purpose of having a design otherwise you can simply just pass it directly now i'll just pause this after this button because it was not showing at the end part where we because i need it here all right now it's looking fine so on toggle of this button i'm going to change everything in order to work with the theming section because we are going to toggle between the dark mode and light mode we need to make some changes into our themes variable.scss file because what happens is right now it's going to turn into the dark mode and light mode based on your mobile phones if your mobile phone is in the dark mode it will turn the application also into dark mode otherwise the light mode will work okay i just want to get rid of that and in order to do that i'll go to my themes variable.scss file let me just search for it variable.scss using the command plus p or control plus p for windows now when i reach here i'm going to scroll towards the bottom and this is the part for the dark mode i need to change this and what exactly i need to do here it's pretty simple i just need to comment this out okay and towards the bottom also i just need to comment this up and i need to just pass a class okay let me just scroll towards the top into the body the class name will be dark dot class that it defines the class name okay then where else do i need for the ios also i'm going to pass it in this particular manner and you can simply pass it here also and then if you scroll down for android one also you can simply pass it in this particular manner wherever you are finding something just pass it there okay to the body one mostly now the thing that we need to do in our variable.scss is turn we can simply toggle this and work with that before that we need to apply the functionality let's work with that in our ts file now in the ts file i need to work with the toggle dark mode so let's work, get started with that now in the toggle dark mode what am i going to do i am going to just reverse it if the dark mode is false i'll turn it to true and vice versa and then i'm going to just toggle the dark class that we just defined in our variable.scss that is why i've given it there and if the dark mode is true then i'm going to set this particular value in my local storage or you can simply use the preferences of the capacitor one for the storage one okay so i'll just comment it for the time being otherwise you can simply set it to false so true and false value you just need to set it to a particular thing in your local storage one all right now once that is done i also need to do something in my ng on in it or in the constructor one because as soon as the app loads i need to know in which mode it should be loaded like in the dark mode or in the light mode because we are going to save that right and in order to do that load or i would say check 
app mode let me give any name here just like that i'm just giving it up okay and the convention of passing a function name should be in this particular manner all right now this is my functionality which i have just given i'm just checking for the value from the local storage and if it is true because we need to save it as a string in our local storage or if you are working with the preferences also the storage plugin of capacitor there also we need to do the same thing and i'm just turning the value of dark mode to true or false based on the value that we retrieve from our local storage and passing it there into my body one where it will toggle based on the value that we are setting for the dark mode okay i just need to pass this function here and then we are good to go so now as of now we are into the light mode okay and i just need to activate this in order to check that up so now it is time to test it let me just toggle it you can see we are into the dark mode now and in the dark mode what do i don't see the status bar well you can simply change that also you can work with that using the status bar plugin of the capacitor one but see this dark mode is working if i just set it to dark mode and make some changes here so the app will get reloaded up right you can see still it is loading up in the dark mode that is what is happening because of the local storage now instead of the local storage you can simply use the capacitor plugin preferences one i hope the name is not changing later on so you can simply install that instead of the local storage you can have that and i'm running android in the live reload one ios in the live reload and also in the browser too let me just show you so this is the browser one where you can simply toggle and you can see the value is showing up if you even reload it up you can see still it is in the dark mode and let me just show you the android one this is the android one if i just toggle this you can see still in this is working now it's time to work with the other plugin so i'll just open up one more and we'll simply paste this and hit enter once that will be done we don't need to set anything i don't think so yes i just need to work with the npx cap sync and we are good to go so let me just sync the project in this particular manner and all the changes will be done all right so all the changes are done now i'll simply replace all of this not in fact all of this only this particular part with preferences you can see suggestion came up dot set and within the set what you can take you can have the certain option which needs to be passed in this particular manner okay now this is my key which i'll pass it in this particular manner and this is my value all right that's the only difference you will find here now i'll copy it and comment this and i'm going to paste it here okay but this value will be false all right now this function returns a promise so you can simply await but uh, there is nothing else that we are working so i can simply leave it in this particular manner i don't need to wait for it and when everything is set here also at the very beginning well i don't need to do anything or yes i do need to do something let me just copy it and i'll comment it because i need to fetch the value from our preferences dot it's gonna be gate and within the gate it accepts options where i need to pass it in this particular manner once again and i'll get the key in this way fine once i do that well i need to get the value of it and for which i need to use await here this is going to be a sync okay i'll get the value here and i'm simply going to check question mark dot value okay that's the only thing i just need to check and everything will be the same so that's the only changes which i have made and we have the same code here okay it's time to try it so what am i going to do let's just try it everywhere all right let me just try it from the browser so if i just go to light mode and refresh it up still it is in light mode and if it is in dark mode i'll just reload it up you can see again the dark mode is showing up so it is working in our browser it's time to check the other ones well let me just check it for the ios at first let's go to html and let me just hit a space it's getting changed but the thing is not getting set so what am i going to do i'll go to this particular one where i'm running the live reload for ios and i'm going to stop that run it again in this way okay 
we'll select my device here all right it is loading it up again now if i just turn it to dark mode and make some changes here let's see whether it gets changed or not you can see it is working so we need to run the live reload once again in order to make the changes work okay and i'm going to do the same for the android one also this is the one for android one i'm going to stop it and the last one i don't need it so this particular one i'm going to run it again for the android this is the command that i'm using it up i'll just hit it again and we just need to look for the android one others are done this is the android one let's check this one too i'm going to select this particular device the pixel 6 pro api 33 that is this particular one right well, if the application is not yet reloaded, let me just check it here. If I just make any change here, whether it is reflecting here or not. Well, I don't think so. It is getting reflected here. So in order to make the changes, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to Android Studio and rerun it up. Now, I think it's going to work. So let's wait for it. Okay, now if I make any change here. Okay, let's undo. Yeah, it is working. Okay. You can see the error was showing up, correct? So now if I go for this particular dark mode and make a change here, let me try to change that name of the title here. Okay, title got changed and actually it is staying to the same dark mode. So that's great. In fact, it's working here also. You can see the title has changed again. Now if I just turn into light mode and again change the title here, you will see it will get reflected and still we are into the light mode so it is working as expected so i hope you have seen how to work with the light mode and dark mode by just toggling with the help of a simple button toggle button so with this i'll wrap up this lecture here thank you so much for watching and if before going if you haven't checked my courses do check it out the links are there in the description go and check and if you like it enroll it right now so with that being said, I'll wrap up this video here. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. And share it with your friends. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye.